Airtable is transforming how event management is done, and this video will show you an example of exactly how it works. So we have a table or a spreadsheet of our events that we are tracking for our business. This table of events has the name of our events, the status of each event, whether it's an idea, accepted, maybe it's a completed event, the location, the type, date, description, host, so on and so forth. You know, your particular data set may have any number of fields that could be similar or different from um, ours, but this example, we will show you a simple example and you can extend this to any use case that you might have in particular. So as you can see, this uh, spreadsheet is um, not the most friendly user interface to look at. We have formatting and colors that are not 100% consistent. Um, they're a little bit jarring. We have bold text, colored text, um, strike through text all throughout this table. And when it comes to scaling this and using this with a full team and having everyone be comfortable and aware of what they're responsible for, you know, making sure we're not editing data or changing data and making mistakes um, in the data entry process, um, and then also building a tool that we can report off of, um, these spreadsheets don't quite hit the mark. And so Airtable comes in to provide a robust database and a set of features that allow us to um, visualize and interact with our data in a completely different manner. So what we have here is we've taken all of our events that were in our spreadsheet and we imported them into our database. So from here, we have the ability to see all of these events on the calendar. We can even click into any of these events and see the name, the, ID, the status, the type of event it is, um, the date of the event. We can see who the host of the event is and click into them and see their contact information. We can see the location of the event, um, and we can add any kind of description we want. And these descriptions are uh, rich text formatting, meaning we can have uh, bullet points, we can have numbered lists, so on and so forth. So if we go ahead and type that in, we can have our bullet points, we can turn these into check boxes, we can turn these into numbered lists, we can make this text bold, italic, strike through, um, we can even make it a code block or add a link. We can also add tasks under each one of our events. Um, so if we wanted to um, secure the location and give this a particular date, um, and an owner, we have the ability to do so. And then we can mark that task complete as needed. We also have the ability to add new events from a form into our database. So we can give our event uh, the details that we need in a structured format and enter everything we need at one time and make sure that our record is complete from the beginning. So once we submit those, and they show up in our holding pen where we can modify them um, and move them to the right status as needed. Once those are accepted, they will actually create a timeline of tasks based on the type of event that it is. And you can see this is scheduled out and we have the ability to um, move these project plans and see the entire year as needed. And this will automatically adjust the rest of the timeline. So for example, I push this all the way back here. This full timeline is gonna move backwards accordingly to preserve these predecessor relationships. We can even filter and see um, quickly particular sets of project plans. Um, we can see certain types of tasks. We can see tasks after a certain day. Um, we have the ability to add any kind of filters that makes sense for us to have over here at the top. So this is really convenient to uh, make these views as dynamic as possible for the end user. As a user, I can also see my own tasks that show up in my tasks view, and I can mark them done, and they will disappear from my view. And then I have a list of my events here that is just uh, the same events on the calendar, but just the ones that I'm assigned to. And I can open up this event and see all the relevant details just like I showed you in the uh, regular calendar view there. And then from here, we can add our filters to see projects with certain conditions or certain criteria. We can see, you know, from certain locations, 
you can add combinations of these uh, to make them more complex as well. In the back end, we won't get into the details, but all that is powering this are three tables that represent our events, our tasks, and our people. So we can go into further detail of how we can set up a system like this for you on a call, um, or if you can send us more details about how you work, we can send you some um, specific personalized information about how we could build a tool like this for you. All right, thank you for watching, and we hope you reach out to us soon.